Both XLOOKUP and VLOOKUP functions are used to look up information from a data table that corresponds to another value, but one of them is superior to the other. Before diving into which function you should use, let's quickly review each of them. The VLOOKUP function performs a vertical lookup by searching for the lookup value in the first column of the table array and returns a corresponding value in a column to the right. The call index num argument is the column number of the table array that you want to return, and the range lookup determines whether VLOOKUP searches for an exact match or an approximate match. The XLOOKUP function searches for the lookup value in the lookup array and returns the corresponding value in the return array. The if not found argument is the default value XLOOKUP returns if it can't find the lookup value within the data. Match mode determines whether XLOOKUP searches for an exact match, an approximate match, or a wildcard match. Lastly, search mode determines how XLOOKUP searches the data. All right, so now that we've gone over each lookup function, let's talk about which function you should use and why. VLOOKUP has been around for years, but has a lot of limitations. So the XLOOKUP function was created to address them. Therefore, XLOOKUP offers way more flexibility and a wider variety of use cases. Let's take a look at some examples. First of all, the XLOOKUP function can search across rows or down columns for the lookup value, while VLOOKUP can only search vertically down columns. So not only can XLOOKUP search in any direction, but it can also return values in any direction from the lookup value. For example, here we have sales data and we want to return the representative corresponding to the sale ID. VLOOKUP would not work in this case because it can only return values in columns to the right of the lookup value and the representative column is to the left of the sale ID. XLOOKUP works in this case because it can return values to the right, left, above, and below the lookup value. Just when you think XLOOKUP search capabilities couldn't get more flexible, they do. XLOOKUP can search from the data's first or last value, while VLOOKUP can only search from the first. For example, here we have a list of employees' positions along with their start date, and we want to know Taylor's current position. As you can see in the data table, she started in customer service in 2019 and is now a sales representative. So we want to return the position corresponding to the last instance of the lookup value. We can do this by setting XLOOKUP search mode argument to negative one, so it searches the data from the bottom instead of the top. XLOOKUP now returns sales representative because it corresponds to the first instance of the lookup value from the bottom of the data, while VLOOKUP can only return customer service because it is only capable of searching from top to bottom. Another huge improvement of XLOOKUP is its approximate search functionality. VLOOKUP's approximate search can only return the closest value less than the lookup value, only if the data is sorted in ascending order. Now, XLOOKUP's approximate search can return the closest value greater than or less than the lookup value, and the data no longer has to be sorted in a particular order for it to work. For example, here we are using both XLOOKUP's and VLOOKUP's approximate search to look up which employee is the closest to hitting their sales goal of 100%. Both lookup functions approximate search functionalities are set to find the closest percent to goal less than 100%, but as you can see, VLOOKUP actually returns the wrong employee. This is because the data has to be sorted in ascending order for this to work. On top of that, if we wanted to return which employee just reached their goal and search for the closest percent to goal greater than 100%, we would only be able to do this using XLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is not capable of finding the closest value greater than the lookup value when searching for an approximate match. Now that we've seen how much more flexible XLOOKUP search capabilities are, let's look at some of the improvements when returning values. Another great addition to the XLOOKUP function is its if not found argument, which allows you to set a default value if the lookup value does not exist. For example, here we have ticket data for March and are looking up the date this ticket was submitted. Both functions return an error because this ticket was not submitted in March, so it does not exist in the data table. If we are using the XLOOKUP function, we can use its if not found argument to return out of date range as a default value instead of an intimidating NA error. To do this, just enter out of date range in double quotations as the if not found argument, and that's it. Now XLOOKUP returns out of date range because this ticket does not exist in the March data, while VLOOKUP can only return an NA error. So not only can XLOOKUP return a default value, 
but it can actually return multiple values at once. For example, here we have sales data and want to return the entire row corresponding to the sale ID. As you can see, to achieve this using VLOOKUP, you have to write four different VLOOKUP functions to return each value, while XLOOKUP can return all four values at once by including each column in the return array. So not only does XLOOKUP address all of VLOOKUP's limitations, but it is also less prone to user errors. For example, here we are using both XLOOKUP and VLOOKUP to look up Kylie's sale amount. As you can see, both functions return the same value, but watch what happens if someone inserts a new column in the data table. Because VLOOKUP returns a value based on a hard-coded column index number, if we insert a new column in the data, VLOOKUP now returns an incorrect result while XLOOKUP adapts to the changes and still returns the correct value. To wrap things up, XLOOKUP is a modern successor to VLOOKUP because it can search rows or columns, return values in any direction from the lookup value, search from the first or last value of the data, return a default value if an exact match isn't found, return multiple results, and more. While I think it's pretty safe to say that XLOOKUP has replaced the iconic VLOOKUP function, if you enjoyed this three-part series on VLOOKUP vs XLOOKUP, hit that like button, comment below, and subscribe to our channel for more series just like this.